Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It is Tuesday. So tonight, Tuesday Tarot, we will do it up. I was going to say cut a rug, but <laughs> it doesn't quite work. So Tuesday Tarot. If you've not ever been on Tuesday Tarot, um, welcome. And uh, Tuesday Tarot is all about me pulling uh, cards for you. So um, I will fit in as many people as I can for a free one card reading. And for those of you who are needing maybe a little bit more of a message, um, there's an option to donate um, anything over $5 will get you more than one card and a guaranteed reading. Um, especially for those of you who feel like you really, really need support. And um, this is the most inexpensive option uh, to get to work with me or the best way to like be introduced to me. Um, so that is what we do on Tuesday Tarot. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. And I don't know how we got to Tuesday. I totally, um, so my walking partner on one Monday nights actually texted me. was like, oh my God, I totally forgot. Yup, me too. Same. Um, somehow Monday came and went. Monday was a Monday. Holy cow. Um, I had a big weekend and I think it caught up with me. And um, so I'm going to try to get back on track for my schedule for myself and for all of you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So good morning, Deb. Good morning. Um, so yeah, let's dive into the message for today. What is the most beneficial message for today? What is the energies out there? What we need to know. All right, we got two. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning, Mandy. Good morning. There it is. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Now we're going to start with justice. Hello. Justice is coming in. Fairness, the law, karma. So for some of you, there are going to be some karmic rewards, some karmic balancing, where things that in your life felt like they were unfair or unjust. Um, it feels like they're coming back into balance. And it feels like they're coming back into balance after a huge transformation. So the balance is coming in for you. And for some of you, I mean, I'm feeling like divorce, bankruptcy, like big stuff. Okay. Um, but the balance is coming in. So whatever it is that's leaving, whatever it is that didn't work out, you're coming into this nice time of balance where things are now coming to you to help you feel like um, the law of averages are really on your side in a way that maybe they haven't felt like that in a very long time. So um, I know there's a lot of uh, planetary alignments right now that are bringing things back around to people. So it is about balance being restored. So for some of you, you might be getting that apology out of the blue. For some of you, you might have actually people kind of walking away and you're kind of okay with it. Like you've been ready. You've been ready. So um, don't stay in any kind of disappointment or regret. Forgive whoever needs to be forgiven. Forgive yourself for whatever part you feel you played. And just know that what is coming to you, it may not be exactly how you thought it would look, but it's going to bring something back to your life, some kind of validation or reward that makes you feel like, okay, I made the right decision. I'm in the right place. This is what I wanted, even though I wasn't knowing it. I wasn't knowing how much I wanted this or how much this was the thing that was going to make me feel the best. Um, and for some of you, you might as well have to give yourself that pat on the back. You might have to give yourself that forgiveness. You might have to give yourself that validation. You may not get it from the other person or the situation. Um, you, you may have to um, know that you did and were a fair in the situation. And now it's, it's time to let it go and leave it behind and don't have any regrets. Know that you did everything that you could possibly do in that situation or relationship to know and try and strive and did everything you could. And it's okay to walk away. It's okay to make that life change. 
make that new career jump, make that new single journey, solitary, making choices and decisions for yourself, not about anybody else. Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Steph. So this is about you coming back into fairness, balance, justice. For some of you, again, there's going to be some resolution and some legal matters, and it's just it's time. It's time for it to be resolved because it is time for you to speak your truth. Go in the direction that works for you. I feel like there's a lot of throat chakra balancing that's going to be going on in this justice card. A lot of uh, speaking your truth from that place of your heart. For some of you, it's speaking your truth for the first time. It's speaking a truth people didn't even recognize you needed to speak. Good morning, Shirley. Welcome. Thank you, Dan. Uh, thank you, Deb. Nancy, I will be on tonight for Tuesday Tarot. So whatever the mistakes were, whatever the melodrama played out, whatever you had to reassess, know that it's now time to focus on what is still in your life, what is still positive, what is still going forward, what is still important. It's like, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. There were things about the situation. There were things about the relationship that were important, that were instrumental. And so whatever didn't work out, don't let that overshadow what was good. Don't let that overshadow what you learned and what you take away with you. Whether it was a relationship, uh, a work, a situation, whatever this balance is that's coming in for you, don't lose what you gained in that situation. You gained something. Maybe right now you can't see what it is that you gained. Maybe right now you, you don't see any positive in the situation. What did you learn? What can you take away? What can you recognize in the future about yourself or about situations that you don't want to be in? I'm being brought to the analogy of I had this um, student teaching placement and I had all these questions I had to write up in essay form. There was like five of them, you know, um, and they were all about like, what did you take away that you would use? What did you learn that was beneficial? And like, I had, this was such a not great teacher. Teaching should have not have been her profession. She was um, a passionate person, <laughs> but she didn't know how to teach. And so I went to my mentor and I'm like, okay, so I have to write up about this placement and I can't answer these questions in the way that they're designed. And she's like, okay, then flip it. What would you do better? Take a situation and, and put your spin on it. What would you do to salvage the lesson? What would you do to gain the cooperation? What would you do to, and I was like, okay, that I can do. And that's what I feel like you're being called to do in these situations. Look at what you're walking away from, but what can you take with you or how can you flip the script so that there's something that you can gain, something that you can, for, I mean, some situations are really just abusive. Some situations really are just negative. And maybe all you're going to take away again is I'll recognize that next time and I won't go down that road. And that's beneficial. But for some of you, there were things that you learned about yourself in that situation, in that relationship. What did you learn about yourself that you can now flip the script on? And I think that's what the energy I'm feeling in for you today is. Gotcha, Nancy. It'll be very, very late tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You can always catch the replay. And whatever resonates with you, that message is for you. So that's what I'm feeling today. I'm feeling like maybe we sit down with a journal. Maybe we do reflect upon what we've been going through in the past few weeks or the past month or the past year. Where were we last March to where we are this March? And what can we take 
into April and beyond the rest of this year that we're not going to carry with us because it can't go forward with us. But what are we going to take forward? Where are we going to reassess? Maybe there are situations that we don't completely walk away from, but they change. They change. Because you've done the reflection. You've done the, how could I have been better? How could I have done better? How could I have perceived this differently? If I take off the lens of trauma, if I take off the lens of hurt, and I see the situation through the other person's eyes, that they made choices and decisions based on their own hurt, their own pain, can I then forgive them? Can I then say they really were doing the best they could in that situation, no matter how awful it was? Maya Angelou says, when we know better, we do better. And sometimes it isn't until hindsight that we know better. But that just means that we can do better going forward into the next situation. And that's what I feel like you're being brought to. This justice card is about some reward and fairness coming in for you. Probably through another situation, another relationship. Because I do feel like where you've been, you're not going back. You're walking away from it. But that doesn't mean you're not taking something with you. Some piece of it. Some piece of that person. Nobody's all good. Nobody's all bad. And sometimes the best thing we can do is love someone from afar and they're going through their own stuff. Ah. Yeah, because it's time for us to get into higher vibrational frequency, letting go of the trauma and drama of the past, moving into higher vibrational frequency of gratitude, joy, love, contentment, empowerment. And sometimes the fastest way is to forgive. To forgive whatever the situation was, whatever the person was, whatever they did, whatever they didn't do. By letting yourself off the hook. Letting go of the hurt. Letting go of the righteous indignation. Letting go of the woulda, coulda, shoulda. So that you can manifest the life that you want and the relationship you want going forward. Transforming the relationship with yourself transforms the relationships around you. So if you're someone that has really been struggling with finding that partner that will be beneficial, finding that partner that will really be in resonance with where you are. Honoring your sovereignty and your divinity because they're standing in their own sovereignty and their own divinity. Letting go of getting out of the people pleasing, letting go in, getting out of the fixing mode. You can't change anyone. They have to change themselves. And so to draw to you the relationships and situations that you want, not willing them, not changing them, not fighting for them, allowing them to show up, and then stepping into that partnership. It's about co-creating your reality. No more striving and driving. Partner with your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters. And allow them to flow to you that which is for you. Good morning, Marcia. Welcome. Oh, I got two. Two more. Yeah, because it is time to step into your divinity, into your connection to Mother, Father, God, to know that you're not alone, to know that you can co-create your reality, that you're not out here floating on the spaceship Earth all by yourself. 
co-create your reality with your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters. Know that you are part of the bigger. Whatever you believe in, you are not alone. And that is what brings you the joy and contentment that you are so wanting. That's how you get the joy and contentment. You get into partnership, you co-create your reality, and you manifest it. You allow the universe to join up the dots and bring it to you. You don't have to worry. You don't have to wonder. You just have to surrender. You just have to surrender. Good morning, Lisa. Yeah, because whatever left, whatever has gone, it didn't have enough to sustain it. There was not enough connection. There was not enough authenticity. There was not enough clarity. One or both of you have to do some work. And again, you can't change anyone else. You can only change yourself. Getting honest with whatever your part is, whatever you're lacking, wherever you feel deficient. And if you're not sure, praying is the asking, meditating is the receiving. But you're not alone. You're not alone. I actually had a beautiful 20 minute meditation this morning where I could feel my connection and I could feel the love. So if you're someone that really feels alone or isolated, meditate. Get into connection with your higher self, with your crossed over loved ones. Know that you're not alone in this universe. Oh, 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 yeah, there it is. And Archangel Gabriel will bring you clarity. Archangel Gabriel, the Archangel of Communication, helping you to ask for what you need, what you want from yourself, from your team, from the other people in the situation or relationship. Speaking from your heart, communicating from your heart. Remember, communicating from your head is that ego, that fear, and that's the energy that's received when you ask from that place. That's why it can't be received. But if you're coming from your heart and the, the emotion behind it is sincere, love, joy, contentment, gratitude, that is the energy that's coming through. That can be received every single time, every single time. And for some people who are not in that space, it will step them back a little bit because it will feel big. So for those of you that are having difficult situations and relationships with difficult people who are not doing their work, it's okay to surround yourself with white light to clear and shield and only let the love in. Your shield. Only let the love out of your shield. Help to transform these difficult relationships around you. Because some of them are family. Some of them are, you know, bosses, longstanding coworkers that really aren't going anywhere. At some point in your life, on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, or holidays, you will have to be in their presence. You will have to interact with them. So shield. Clear and shield your energy so that when you're in their presence... All they can feel is the love. All you can receive is their love. All the judgment, all the criticism, all the fear. It doesn't come through to you. You might see it on their faces, but you won't feel it. And that allows you to respond from that higher place. Frequency, higher frequency, not higher ego. Yeah, because it is time for all of us to get into releasing the fear and embracing the love. That is how we're going to transform our lives, to live in the happiness and the authentic and balanced relationships that we're wanting. Remember, energy can't be destroyed. You have to transform it. 
And releasing it can be difficult and can feel hard. Don't feel like you have to do it alone. Ask your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters to walk through it with you. Because sometimes until you're ready to transform it, all you can do is walk through it. I know it's here. I can feel it. It hurts. It's scary, but I'm going to keep going because I'm not alone and I'm supported. And the more you do that, the more you transform it. It starts to dissipate and it starts to look like empowerment. It starts to look like worthiness. It starts to look like authenticity. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear. Courage is walking through the fear, doing it despite the fear. Be courageous. Be courageous. Whew. All right, guys. Yeah. That was a really big message today, and I'm feeling it. I am feeling it for all of us. I really am. Whew. So be courageous, however that looks for you. And if you need help, the courage. Praying is the asking. Meditating is the receiving. Requesting a most benevolent outcome. Partner with your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters. Co-create your reality. Send up the prayer. I need help. I need a way forward. I need a sign. I need to know that I'm not alone. I've been getting them myself. I've been going through, as you all know, I'm going through changes. So I took a big step this week and gave my 30-day notice. That was fearful. I knew it would be okay, but I still had that fear of the change because it made it real. And so I had to walk through it. And I did. I partnered with my team of guides, angels, and ascended masters and said, please help me with this. I feel this big change and it's scaring me. It's gotten my fear ramped up. I know I'm going to be okay. I know it's going to be good. I can feel it. The people I'm working with are supportive. But it's change, and change is often terrifying, especially if you're changing careers, especially if you don't know where the next opportunity is coming, especially if you don't know if you're going to be alone or how that's going to look when you leave a longstanding relationship that wasn't beneficial. You're not alone. You're never alone. So if you are needing support, partner with me with an IET journey to transform a lot of this fear and old traumas and dramas, the issues in your tissues that are holding you back. Or if you're ready to partner with your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters and co-create your reality, we start the intuitive guidance course on April 6th. And there's only four seats left. I'm so excited. So guys, you are not alone. Please, please know that. This thing called life in the 3D, in the human plane, can feel very lonely and very isolating and feel very despondent, especially if you're watching the news, if you're watching world events, if you're watching media, regular media, social media. A lot of difficult things are going on right now, but you don't have to take on that energy. You can partner. Get in resonance with what you want to manifest. Staying high vibrational frequency of gratitude and love. And that resonates and sends out into the collective, into the world, and just into the people are in your circle. And that radiates to the people in their circle. It radiates and it radiates. And you see how we sometimes all we have to do is just be the best version of ourselves. And we have made enough impact. By impacting our sphere, our little bubble, our world, our family. Doing your work makes a difference. And sometimes I have to remind myself of that. It's a ripple effect. And I am honored to be part of your ripple. So I'm going to leave it right there, guys. I will be back Tuesday night. 
or tonight for Tuesday Tarot. Jessica, thank you. Oh, I love it. Why would you put a bowl over the lamp after you light it? You need to share your light. I love it. I love it. So yes, if you're really ready to partner, co-create your reality, you really want to get into connection with your team of guides, angels, and ascended masters so that you can trust and act on what you're receiving, believing the signs that you're receiving, taking action on the inspiration and how to do that. That's what we're going to do in the Intuitive Guidance course starting on April 6th. You're welcome, ma'am. So there are only 10 seats. There's only four seats left because it is very detailed. It's very uh, personal. There's no pre-recorded anything. It's me for two hours for 10, for five nights, 10 hours total. And I do have the bonus at $175 value to help you jumpstart your energetic shift with an IET session. Most of them have been scheduled already for the people who have uh, signed up for the class, registered for the class. So I'm here for you. I'm here for you to help you in any way that you need. So please um, check out guidance311.com. There's a blog. I actually uploaded uh, the brochure for the IET. Um, so if you want to look at the brochure, all you have to do is go to the IET page and uh, click on the learn more tab. It will download the brochure for you so you can look at that which gives you a lot of benefits to IET that aren't on the page. Um, there's lots of testimonials, whether they're on the website or whether they're on this Facebook page. Uh, many, many people who have gone through this uh, with me, uh, some just once, some have been on a journey for months. Um, there is a package for those of you who know that you really want to step into really uh, diving into your, your healing journey, transforming those issues in your tissues so that you can raise your vibrational frequency. It's $100 off three individual sessions, so that is the, the deal. And if you need a payment plan with that, please let me know. It's I'm here to serve. I'm here to serve in whatever way you need, so please reach out. So, guys, have a beautiful rest of your Tuesday. I'll be back tonight at 7 o'clock to pull as many cards as we can do in an hour. And I'm just sending you so many blessings and so much love. Enjoy your day. We'll talk to you soon.